What's up guys? Welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So what you are seeing here is my Apple Watch Series 7 and it's been updated to watchOS 8.5. If I go into settings and then go to general and go to software update, you will see that my watch is up to date. And similarly, if I go on my iPhone that's paired with my Apple Watch and go to general and software update, you will see that it's updated to watchOS 8.5 and basically i want to show you all the new features and new changes that this update has to offer as there's quite a bit that watchOS 8.5 brings about now the first change that i want to show you on my apple watch series 7 here has to do with new emojis now if you like emojis and you use text messages or like social media platforms quite a lot there's an update that watchOS 8.5 brings about and in introduces standard 14 support for the watchOS 8.5 supported devices so that is series 3 and newer and basically these are some of the new emojis that you are seeing here there's about 37 new emojis and not all of them are going to be completely new for the first time some of them just have to do with color variation so if we go to the emoji page here you can already see some of them you have the salute face right there and then if you go down you can see this guy covering his face that is a new emoji and also if you go to the smileys right there and you go a bit down you'll be able to see some of the new emojis so i can tell you for a certainty that this is a new emoji this one that has a melting face and then you have this one that's sort of like a sun face that's also a new emoji i don't know if pinocchio is a new emoji but looks kind of new and then this guy that has a bent face face facing sideways that's a bit slant that's a new emoji and there's all in all about 37 new emojis and changes some of them as you can see here are not completely new they're just going to be like color variation or depth changes so that is what is the new emojis that this update has to offer and it brings us to standard 14 support so that's something that's good as something else that i wanted to show you here with this update it has to do with the ecg support so ecg support has been added in indonesia if you didn't know so if you are in indonesia you can easily place your finger on your crown and if you have a supported device that has the ecg capabilities you'll be able to read your ecg readings and not only that but if you are in malaysia since malaysia also got ecg support there were issues with the ecg support on their system or their region and this update actually provides a fix where sometimes you might have gotten incorrect readings or at times your ecg app would actually say that you know your risk isn't as tight as it's supposed to be even though you know you are wearing your watch correctly so that is something that has been fixed with this update and it's good when it comes to ecg now there's uh, an update that's going to be complementing watchOS 8.5 for the iphone since these two devices are sort of complementary and i have to bring to your attention to a new feature that basically introduced by uh, ios 15.4 and as you can see it's uh, a feature that allows you to use your face id with a mask now the way things were always before on your apple watch you could actually wear a face mask and use your apple watch to basically unlock your iphone as long as you had risk detection on so you had to go into passcode and then make sure your your watch is protected with a passcode uh, it could be a simple passcode or an advanced and has risk detection on and on your iphone you would have to go into your settings and then go to where it says face id and passcode and then if you scroll all the way down to the watch section you would actually be able to see this change that says unlock with apple watch now this iphone you sometimes paired with two apple watches so you have the series 7 which is the screen one that you are seeing here and then there's the series 6 and all those were able to unlock with apple watch even though you are wearing a mask but now with this new advanced feature that lets you 
basically use the uh, uh, the face ID sensor on your iPhone you actually won't be needing this new um, unlock with Apple watch feature it's something that you can always set up if you have an iPhone 12 or iPhone 13 and newer that supports face ID and you have updated to watch OS uh, of 8.5 as well as ios 15.4 so new changes and if you don't have an iphone 12 let's say you have an iphone 11 or older then you can still use your risk detection and unlock your iphone while wearing your apple watch like we've always done it so that's just a change that i thought i should bring to your attention if you want to utilize it you can always do that for those that have supported devices now there's a new change change here when it comes to watch faces so if you go to your watch face here and you go to the edit page and you click new you'll be able to see that we have a new watch face that's been centered here so you have the dynamic control and then you have the portrait watch face on the right hand side but here in the four center here you have the new unity lights watch face now this doesn't essentially come with watch os 8.5 but for those that were having issues when it comes to adding the unity lights watch face i'll be happy to let you know that you know you can now add it for your device i did add it a number of times just to show you that it works let's just go ahead and add it again and you can basically choose to add it like this and you can see that my unity lights watch face has been added so there's a fix for this and if you couldn't add it before now this is working for me on my apple watch series 7 so that is something that's good now there's also a new update that has to do with something that we've seen before with this update now previously with other watch os 8 versions there were code that referenced something or the ability that you'll be able to add your vaccine card in your wallet app and this is what you have here you can see my uh, vaccine card but now when it comes to watch os 8.5 it seems like apple is going to take things a little bit further so you won't only be able to add like your credit card or your vaccine card or your qr code or apple purchases but you'll be able to add more in the future and by more uh, this update has actually called that references support for driver licenses or state issued id for the wallet app now just to show you how this is going to look in a sense it's going to look something like this so on your apple watch you'll be able to have it or on your uh, iPhone that you have updated to iOS 15.4 this is how it's going to look and on the Apple watch it's going to look something like this and basically it's going to be a state thing where it has to be approved since this is a state issued IDs that we are talking about the driver's license or your ID but for your knowledge this update does have code that references the support for this so we've seen it when it comes to the vaccine card and now we are seeing it again for the second time when it comes to the driver's license and state issued ids so it could be that this update or feature isn't too far off so that's something that i've learned from apple when they do this now also there were issues while we are still in the wallet section here i would like to let you know that there were a number of people that were having issues when it comes to apple pay so with this update i'll be happy to let you know that you can easily use your credit card or your apple card to make purchases on watchOS 8.5 the bug that affected that um, function seems to have been resolved for all users and if you are experiencing it you can let me know in the comment section below and i'll be able to look into it for you now when it comes to air tags you know that you can actually use your apple watch to actually see some information related to your air tags so you can see this is the items app and you can use it to actually be able to see some of your air tags and this is my air tag that you are seeing here it's tea bag that just means tech bag that's what i decided to rename it but since people have been misusing air tags and tracking people unwantedly it seems like there's going to be an update to the air tags i don't know if it's going to be a firmware update for the air tags or whether it's actually going to be an update to the items app for the apple watch or the find my app on the iphone 
but just to show you what I'm, I mean here, you can see here, this is Apple's newsroom page and you see that they mention an update on air tags and unwanted tracking. And basically it goes on to say that, you know, air tags were designed to help people locate their personal belongings and not track people or other or another person's property. And basically Apple is going to be working with law enforcement to try and bring those that are found guilty to justice. And also you can see that advancements coming to air tags and the find my network now this is a very good apple network that really works well from my experience that i've uh, seen since using the air tags and you can see that there's going to be a new privacy warnings during air tag setup that's going to be telling you what your responsibilities and consequences are going to be if you are found tracking someone um, illegally or something like that or property that's not yours and basically you can expect an update to the find my network and to air tags whether, it, whether it's going to be a firmware update or an application update time will be able to tell now that that has to do with the air tags i want to show you something here when he ha when it comes to the blood oxygen sensor so if you have a, an apple watch series 6 or 7 that has the blood oxygen measuring so this is actually the blood oxygen measuring that i want to show you here there were issues where some people you know were actually or oh, here it's actually been updated so before i was able to be able to just go into my blood oxygen sensors and actually take a reading but it seems like here on watchOS 8.5 when you actually open up your bo2 max application it sort of sets up again for the first time like before so you can see it's telling you you know keep your watch facing up and be steady and so on and then you'll be able to take your bo2 max or blood oxygen measurement but just to prove a point there were issues when it comes to certain series of versions of the apple watch where they were not able to get correct leadings for their blood oxygen sensing but i'll be happy to let you know that with this update that has been resolved so that's something good you can see mine was a success and also when it comes to this update there were issues when it comes to series so you know how on the apple watch if your risk is low like this and you raise it up close to your mouth like a mouthpiece you can actually activate Siri without saying the phrase hey and then you know the word so there were issues where Siri wouldn't be able to recognize voices and here with watchOS 8.5 that issue has been resolved and you can use Siri to do things also something else that I noticed if you use um, AirPods with this update or with your Apple watch and you use AirPods you can always select if you have connected AirPods to your Apple watch you can always select them here as an audio device i noticed that with watchOS 8.5 the connection time is faster now that seems to be most of the changes and new features that came with watchOS 8.5 if i do find out some new features or new changes that came with this update i will let you know and for me when it comes to battery i would say that this update has been pretty solid on my apple watch series 7 you can see that i last charged it 12 a.m and i've been using it like crazy trying to find new features and new changes and also my battery health maximum capacity has remained on a hundred percent for two updates that is quite crazy because at the same uh, with the same number of updates for the apple watch series 6 which i also have in my backpack i actually dropped about five to uh six percent of battery health maximum capacity i don't know why but it seems like the apple watch series 7 is actually really good and if you're having charging issues when it comes to charging your apple watch i'll be happy to let you know that this update actually resolved most of those issues now seems like those are all the new features and new changes that came with this update let me know whether you know you are seeing any that i haven't mentioned and other than that that's about it for me if you like this video please leave a like and as always stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace